Last month, before I saw The Last Jedi, I wanted to revisit The Force Awakens. I have a Starz subscription, and I saw it was streaming on there, so I put it on. And within seconds, I turned it off, because they weren't showing the whole movie. I mean, they had two hours and 15 minutes of the movie, but it was not the entire thing. What do I mean by that? Well, to explain, we have to talk about aspect ratios. In case you're not familiar with the term, the aspect ratio is essentially the shape of the frame of the film. It's always a rectangle, but the aspect ratio specifies the exact shape. It's literally the ratio of width to height. So these square TVs that everyone had until the mid-2000s, their aspect ratio is 4 to 3. And the most common aspect ratio, as seen on HDTVs, computer screens, and the YouTube video player you're watching this on right now, is 16 to 9. This is extremely close to one of the most widely used aspect ratios for movies, 1.85 to 1. So when a movie shot that way, like say Jurassic Park, is shown on a 16 to 9 TV, it fills the whole screen. But here's where things get a little more complicated. A lot of movies are shot in wider aspect ratios, in particular 2.35 to 1, which is used for a ton of Hollywood movies. When a movie or video shot in 2.35 is shown on a 16 to 9 screen, it's scaled so that the whole thing will fit on the screen, and you get those black bars on the top and bottom. You've seen this a million times, and often people making YouTube videos will just put the black bars on there because we've been conditioned to view that as cinematic. But for some reason, a lot of premium cable channels and streaming services like HBO, or Stars, as I mentioned before, or Hulu, have decided that they know better than the people who actually made the movies. Despite the fact that we've been watching movies like this our whole lives, they apparently think people can't handle the black bars. So when they show a movie shot in a wider aspect ratio, they expand the image so it fills the whole screen which in the process cuts off the sides of the frame. So yeah, the whole screen is filled, but you also lose about 25% of the image. So Star Wars goes from this to this. Last week I was rewatching part of The Nice Guys on Cinemax, and they did the same thing. So you end up with a frame like this, where Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling can't even fit on the screen together. For comparison, this is what the shot should look like. What drives me nuts about this is that with every movie, the filmmaker chose that aspect ratio for a reason, and they framed every shot for that specific shape. So chopping off the sides of the image is going against their wishes and damaging their work. The parts on the side of the frame? They matter. Remember back in the early 2000s when everyone had the square 4-3 to TVs, and DVDs were sold in two versions. Widescreen, aka the normal version, and then full screen, where they would chop off the sides of the frame so it would fill the whole screen. This was a terrible practice, and it's crazy to believe that studios actually sold people these incomplete versions of movies. But once widescreen HGTVs became the standard, it seemed like that dark time was behind us. But just like Twin Peaks, it is happening again. Because I'm a crazy nerd about this stuff, here is what I do. If I'm going to watch a movie that I've never seen before and it's on one of these platforms, first I go to IMDb and in the technical specs I look up the actual aspect ratio. If it turns out they're showing the movie cropped, I just turn it off and watch something else instead. Or I pay the $3 to rent it on Amazon or iTunes, because I don't want to watch a movie if I'm not going to get to see the entire thing. Now these cropped versions of movies might be what is known as the airplane versions, as in the version of the movie given by the studio to airlines to show on those little screens on the backs of the seats. These are usually cropped, but I don't mind quite as much there because, come on, it's an airplane. I don't really expect a high-quality movie-watching experience there. But why would HBO, which prides itself on the quality of its original programming and, unlike network and basic cable channels, doesn't edit things for content, choose to show these bastardized versions of movies? I don't know who exactly is making these decisions, whether it's the studios choosing to distribute cropped versions are companies like HBO doing the cropping themselves, but either way, it's bad and it needs to stop. Tons of people are watching these damaged, incomplete versions of movies and not realizing it. And then there's nerds like me who just won't watch one of these movies because we know what's been done to it. This entire practice is stupid and pointless. It benefits nobody. It's bad for the filmmakers, bad for the movies, and bad for the audience. So I don't know how to stop this from happening or how to bring about this change, but if you agree with this, then... I don't know, tweet this video at HBO and Stars and Hulu, and tell them to stop. Because I think we can all agree that watching movies is way better when you can see the whole thing.